welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I did a guest bathroom refresh and I replaced a bunch of the old fixtures in here. I replaced the toilet, the vanity, the light fixture. I took out the old medicine cabinet because it was out of style and the mirror was too tiny for this space. I didn't have enough time to make a medicine cabinet in the bathroom refresh video, so I'm dedicating a whole video on how to make a more modern medicine cabinet. I love this mirror, it fits the space perfectly, so I figured out a way to incorporate that into the project. Before I walk you through the steps, I want to quick thank the sponsor of today's video, Loctite. Loctite has so many great products, whether you're working on a small craft or a large professional build. They really have products for every type of project. I'm going to be using two of their adhesive products, so I'll talk more about those later in the video. First, I want to show you what the medicine cabinet looked like before, and then we'll get started. To remove the old medicine cabinet, I'm unscrewing it from the studs in the wall. You may also need to take a utility knife and score the caulk around the cabinet so that it comes off the wall easier. Next, I'm taking measurements of the opening. I'm taking the height and width of the opening and subtracting a quarter inch from each measurement so that my new cabinet has enough room to fit in the opening and it also gives me some room to level it out if I need to. For the back of the cabinet, I'm using three quarter inch plywood. This piece is going to determine the size of the whole cabinet, so I made sure that the plywood fit before cutting the rest of the framing pieces to size. Now I'm cutting the top and bottom frame pieces out of 1x4s. I also use these 1x4s to cut a few shelf pieces for the cabinet. The Arizona Thunder tonight. Endless roads to the horizon Past the oasis, it's all behind ya. Mirage of lava, the stars above ya. So if you add three quarters of an inch for the back plywood piece and three and a half inches for the width of the one by four frame pieces, that equals four and a quarter inches. The depth of my opening is four and a half inches. So I'm just going to shim out the cabinet a quarter inch so that the cabinet sits flush with my wall. Here I'm cutting down some one by two lumber to trim out the medicine cabinet. I cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. So now that I have all of the lumber cut, I'm going to start assembling all the pieces together. So I started by cutting this scrap three quarter inch plywood that I had laying around for the back of the medicine cabinet. I have the top piece and the bottom piece. The side pieces and then I did cut two shelves for the medicine cabinet so it'll look kind of like this I'll use this bottom section for larger like soaps and lotions and then these two top sections can be used for like smaller products so this box will go inside the wall and then I cut some trim pieces out of one by twos to cover the frame of the medicine cabinet and this will go on the wall so it'll cover all the framing pieces. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be using some adhesive products from Loctite to help with this medicine cabinet project. So to assemble the box for the medicine cabinet, I'm going to use the Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear. I love this because it has a crystal clear finish. I also plan to use the Loctite PL Premium Max, which is their strongest, most durable construction adhesive. 
I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality and durability of my DIY projects and I'm super excited to add these adhesives to my lineup of go-to adhesive products. To apply this adhesive, you'll need a caulk gun. This adhesive has great instant grab technology, so clamps are not needed and it's repositionable. This is extremely helpful when trying to position all of your pieces exactly where you want them. I want to install the medicine cabinet right away, so I'm choosing to brace the wood with some one and a half inch brad nails. Loctite's Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear is the latest in construction adhesive technology. This formula works in all conditions. It's weatherproof and water resistant and can be applied on a wide variety of surfaces, both porous and non-porous and damp surfaces as well. We got a brand new day. Good love is on the way. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? I dove in from high above. And if the answer's no, well then I'd like to get to know you. My favorite part is that it applies and cures crystal clear, leaving flawless results. You can find these Loctite products at your local Home Depot. Be sure to follow the instructions and safety guidelines as directed on the packaging. Okay, so I'm kind of changing directions here with the door for the medicine cabinet. I think I can attach the hinges directly to the mirror. So the mirror came with these picture hanging brackets attached to the back of the mirror with these tiny screws. So I'm gonna use the same screws along with some construction adhesive to hold my hinges in place. Um, I have two hinges already. I'm gonna pick up one more for the middle for some extra support. So one side of the hinge will be attached to the mirror and then the other side of the hinge will be attached to the trim piece here. Um, I have these super long wood screws that will go through the hinge, through my base trim, and then through the stud in the wall. So the hinge is going to be extra secure. I shouldn't have any issues hanging this big mirror. So I'm gonna secure the brackets to the mirror and while that sets with the construction adhesive, I'm going to install the medicine cabinet into the wall. In order to secure the hinges to the back side of your mirror, your mirror will need to have some sort of backing to screw into. Be sure not to use screws that are too long or else you could damage your mirror or you could scratch the coating on the back of the mirror. A few of my screws did go in a little too far and you can see a few tiny dots, but it's barely noticeable. The PL Premium Max is ideal for most interior or exterior projects where long-term strength and durability are a must. This adhesive is also waterproof and can be applied to wet and frozen surfaces, both cold and hot temperatures for landscaping and deck projects. The Loctite PL Premium Max fully cures in 24 hours and is fast grab with a 20 minute repositioning time. I let this construction adhesive fully cure for 24 hours and I made sure not to get any of the adhesive in the hinge so that the hinge opens and closes nice and smooth. Be sure to follow the instructions and safety guidelines as directed on the packaging. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile because you're by my side. Now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine, and I see it in yours too, so now I sing to you, and when you go, and leave me here all alone, I'll be waiting, we can make
Here I'm applying the PL Premium Max to the studs in my wall and then using some long wood screws to fully secure my medicine cabinet into the wall. Make sure your cabinet is nice and level. Use some wood shims if you need to make it level. Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, stupefied, what was it that I said? Probably something foolish that didn't make much sense But you remembered a year later when I saw you Now that the cabinet is secure, I'm using wood filler to fill in nail holes I could not wait to show you I cherish all your life And after all this time I sanded everything down with 220 grit sandpaper This is all you want Here I'm caulking every seam as well as around the outside of the medicine cabinet. Next, I'm using some leftover paint to paint the medicine cabinet the same color as our bathroom. Now it's time to install the door for the medicine cabinet. I had Devin help me hold the mirror up while I screwed it in place. Use a level to make sure your door is being secured nice and straight. And voila, we have a new beautiful medicine cabinet. You can customize this project with a fun mirror. You could also add some tile to the cabinet or add adjustable shelves. There's a lot of options. You may need to add a magnetic catch and strike plate to make sure your mirror stays closed, but ours is fine as is. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks again to Loctite for sponsoring this video. Be sure to keep Loctite in mind when it comes time for your next project. Their adhesives and sealants are extremely versatile. They have something for all of your small projects and repairs all the way up to your toughest jobs. Makes you forget about all types of things.